Hey everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I am going to share with you my Project Life space. This is the space that I do all of my album and like my Project Life memory keeping. This is it. So if you, most of you will probably be familiar with my craft room. I've done videos on it before, but this is my long desk right here. You can see it stretches all the way across this wall. All of this is from Ikea. The tabletop is from Ikea. The Alex drawers are from Ikea. And then my husband made me this back shelf right here. So this is where I stamp and I do my cards and then I also film right here. So that's where I do all of that. And all of my card making stuff is all down here. My stamps are here. So down here is my project life area. And this recently changed. I've really always wanted a place to just keep my album open and just have a place where I can pop down and work on my album and then it's always out. So that's what this space is. Um, right here, these little cubbies right here all have Project Life stuff on them. And then I have this Billy bookcase right here. It's a really tall bookcase, you can see. And in all of those black boxes, there are Project Life core kits. There are at least three core kits in each box. And then down below um, the very bottom, there's a couple boxes that have four or five core kits in them. Like, not complete core kits, they're just stuff that's left. Like basically I've used a bunch of it and so I can fit more in those boxes. And then down here are baby uh, Project Life core kits and I just keep those on hand for projects that I do. So right here is my album, I keep it open. It is currently on the week that I'm on. So you can see that I just had photos printed yesterday uh, yeah, so I have photos all the way up to here, but then there are photos that, you know, this is the rest of the week. So then if anything's not finished in the prior weeks, like there's a couple things back here that I still need photos of. Week 18, I still need to do some stuff with, but I just, in general, I keep it open to the week that I'm working on or our current week. And I have sticky notes that I always have out. I have a little... I have sticky notes and a pen right here, and I will just put a sticky note on the day of whatever photo it is. That's how I keep track. I'm printing pretty much weekly now, like either weekly or bi-weekly, so that makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go through kind of my setup and show you guys kind of in detail the items that I'm finding useful right now. So like I said, all of this right here, probably from like right here down, is all stuff I use on my Project Life album. These are retired Stampin' Up! punches that uh, work in my Project Life album, so I haven't got rid of them. I just keep them here. So starting up top, I have this little tin, and it has just like bits and pieces of different things that I use. It has vellum, it has different things from different kits. It's just like little tiny things that are there that I can grab. These are current photos. So right, I'm in the process of getting photos in our album, so they're just kind of stacked in piles, and I just throw them up there. Then I just, these are cards I send out to customers. That just happens to be there because it fits there. So here I have a little glass jar. This is actually, uh, you're going to see a lot of these in my craft room. And they're from Bath and Body Works from their candles. They're three wick candles. Whenever I get their, those candles, I save the glass and I clean it out and then I use it in my craft room. So this is some washi tape. It's not all of my washi tape, but it's the washi tape that... I tend to use in my album. This is some glitter tape. This little bowl is from Ikea. And I don't think there's anything else. Like there's a little flare in there, but really it's just glitter tape. That's there. This stuff can switch out if I need it to. This just happens to be current product that I was using. This right here is just a little box that I have. And then these are all letter stickers. So let's take this out and I'll show you guys. This is all letter stickers and most of these letter stickers come from the Stampin' Up! Project Life kits. And you can see that I've used some of them and I just stick them in there. They're in no particular order. 
Then back here is old Project Life stickers. These are like arrow, it's hard to see the lighting, but they're arrow stickers. And then also like these are white arrow stickers. And then the core kits used to come with these kind of stickers where it would have the numbers and then it would have the days of the week. This is from the old Clementine kit. And I love those and I use them so I have a chunk of them that I've collected. And then these are letter stickers that were sold on HSN, the first time Project Life ever debuted on HSN and I got several sets of those and you can see that I use them they're kind of transparent like stickers so then I have another little glass dish and these are just die cuts they're just cutouts that I've cut out or if I don't use something I can stick it in there and they're in all different colors down here are current kits um, or product from current kits that I'm using. This is mostly Ali Edwards. That's the only other kit that I get or only other product that I really use um, is Ali Edward items. So these are items that have come in her kits. This is like chipboard. This is like those letter or those phrase stickers. Um, here's some enamel dots from Stampin' Up and some sequins from Close to My Heart that already has adhesive on it. And then these are um, Allie Edwards. They're done by Studio Calico. And they're just little heart stickers. I have some stars. So it's just basically anything that's come in a kit recently, I stick right there and then I can grab it. This is just a Project Life box and I just have adhesive in here. So I have dimensionals, a tape runner, glue dots, and it's just upside down on there. This is vellum. It's four and a half by 11 vellum. I've just cut it or it's four and a half by I'm sorry, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I've just trimmed this down from eight and a half by 11 vellum. And I just keep it here. I can do journaling on it. I can use punches with it. It's easy. It just tucks in right there. This is wood, like veneers. And I just have them in this big, this glass container. I just dump it out when I'm looking for something. And then I have these, which are just four by six white cardboard and I use that in my album like right here you can see I've tucked cardboard in because I'm going to be filming so I've tucked cardboard into that so that it's easier to see on camera so that's what I have out on the shelf here I just have this little clear I don't even know where I got it it took me forever to find a way to set this area up that would work but I got this little clear thing and this is just pieces of different things really like here's some cards that go to the go to a core kit I haven't put back a receipt I thought I might put in our album the kids is um school photos this is for another project uh, another receipt you can see it's just pieces that go up here here's some cards from one of Allie's kits um a couple months ago that I have stuck up here some other cards I thought I might use here's some Allie Edwards these didn't fit in that card in the box over here they didn't fit so it's just some chipboard shapes some page protectors I'm going to be using in a later project and then these are some clear stickers that I just started using that did not fit over there same thing with here this is usually where I put my photos that I'm working on like for the week or if I haven't dropped album photos into the kids's album I'll stick them right here but then here's also some core kit cards that I pulled out of another album that I just didn't I've not organized them basically then there's some just sequins. I have these little Starbucks cups and they just have like little items like here's some enamel dots, anything that's little. Here's my pen for my uh, stick it notes. And then here's some of those uh, tabs that I use and they're just right there. Then this is a core kit for, or a kit from Stampin' Up. It's the one that's in the occasions kit the occasions catalog and I just have it sitting here because I've been using it. I'll rotate that out and put it into a different um, place once I'm done using it. Then these are Ali Edwards stamps and Project Life by Stampin' Up stamps. So these are all stamps that I use in Project Life um, and I just have them over here so that I can access them and they're in one of these little wood boxes. I do have stamps up here right above me that I use mainly for Project Life. Like this is Close to My Heart Project Life stamps. This is Ali Edwards. And it's kind of like a bunch of just different kinds of stamps like Amy Tangerine, some Technique Tuesday. 
Um, there's like this from Stampin' Up! That's retired. This is from Close to My Heart. This is like a little letter set. So that is just up here. And I just, I can grab that down when I'm working right here. And I have a black mat. Um, I got this on Amazon. It's 18 by 24. And I just have it under my album. And I scoot my album over and then I can work right here. So then just a few other items. Right here I just have some things that need to go in my album. I got this sweet card from a YouTube subscriber. She wrote me a really sweet note. I wanted to keep it. There's some other cards in here. Um, and so I just have some things that need to go into the album. So right here, none of this is labeled correctly because I recently changed this area around. So here in the top, I just have the things I reach for the most. My tiny attacher, my corner rounder. These are some embellishments um, that I use a lot of. There's some clips, some wood stars. Um, they're just in here. And then here's a box of pins and scissors, a Wink of Stella, a white gel pen, some staples. And then this is stick it notes. This is all just um, brads. There's a couple flares um, in here. There's some rhinestones and pearls. Same thing as in here is rhinestones and pearls. It's just stuff that I'm reaching for right away. Then the next drawer down, um, this is just a box and I have just some items in here. This is from some of Allie Edwards kits um, that I just have there so that I can use them. These are like punched pieces of like really thin wood. These are date stamps that I'm using um, regularly. And then here's some of my Ali Edward kits. And then I have like this is uh, something you guys saw. I'll link a card um, because I talked about this these particular items right here in a recent video. And then here's some leftover Project Life by Stampin' Up from different kits that I've just cut up that I can use uh, to put on my in my album. Next down below is just some miscellaneous Project Life out, um, items, some stickers, stuff that I'm using, um, some, you know, here's some layovers. This is some gold um, vellum that I had done. It's just stuff that I don't really know where else to put it. And then the next drawer down is Project Life by Stampin' Up. This is how I organize all my kits. Um, these are old kits. I have to put in my new kits uh, in here. But you'll see like the Let's Get Away kit, the Playground kit. These are some Project Life solid cards. And then my grid cards that I keep there. And then these are themed cards. So like that's Americana themed cards. This is from Kathy Z. And down below I don't think is anything. Yeah, it's just desk items. So that is my Project Life station. That's how I've been working and I've been loving it. I love having everything set up where I don't have to think about it. I just know I'm using all of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I'll have photos on my coordinating blog post. You can click up in the corner or down in the YouTube description to get to that. I'll have photos of my space and links to anything that I talked about. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will be back again um, either later this week or next week to share with you guys some more. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I have two other videos here for you guys. One is the craft room overview video. It just says an overview of my entire craft room and where um, I have everything placed. And then the second video is the creative Bible review I did with the Prisma color pencils. And you can check that out. Next week, the annual catalog will go live, which means you will be able to order from it. And so next week, I will have all brand new projects using that brand new product that's in the annual catalog. Um, there's some really fun projects I have planned for next week. So make sure you come back and hang out with me next week. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you later.